Dalgleish and McQueen again. And McQueen has slipped and Dalgleish has a clear run at goal and he scored. Once Gordon McQueen had slipped, the rest was formality. Kenny Dalgleish gets his 20th goal of the season to put Liverpool in front. McQueen left on the seat of his pants, Dalgleish squeezing it in by the near post. It's 1-0 to Liverpool and we've been playing almost 15 minutes. Jordan. Popple and Alan Kennedy is in trouble. In comes Thomas. Clements has got the ball. No! Thomas has hooked it in. Well, the goal stemming from a very similar circumstance to Liverpool's opening goal with a defender suddenly dropping out and that allowed Koppel to play the cross in came Thomas it still looked as though Clements had got it but just as he seemed to have it in his hands Thomas recovered more quickly and stabbed it in United coming out for the offside and although uh, Hansen was doing the right thing and indeed has been waved on by Pat Partridge he will now score It wouldn't have mattered that because the linesman had flagged Dalgleish offside. Now the crowd is in an absolute ferment here. There were about six Liverpool players in an offside position when Hansen played the ball forward. I think that he was waved on by Mr Partridge, but this is where the offside was. Dalgleish flagged offside. In any case, he put the ball outside the post. Enough turning it. Wilkins looking for Jordan, who's free behind Case. And in goes Thomas, and off the line by Thompson. Thompson saved it with inches to spare. But it so nearly came off with Jordan stealing in behind Case. And then Thomas got a touch, and there were two of them there. Thompson got it away. Wilkins to take Manchester United's corner. McQueen lurking just in the semicircle at the edge of the area there. Clement stays on the line. And the header has gone in from Jordan. 2-1 to Manchester United. And Joe Jordan raises his arms to take the acclaim. And it was turned on in fact by Greenoff who got the deflection Jimmy Greenoff the Roy of the Rovers goal that he talked about before the game Wilkins Jordan and Jordan brought down but the referee waves them on with the advantage and a marvellous save by Clements from Makari that was goalkeeping of international class, all right. Makari had got in well, and it seemed a goal all over. Ball turned across here, hard, and down went Clements with a left hand from Makari. So it's still 2-1 to Manchester United. Hansen got a toe to that. Jordan ahead. Wilkins is shot off the bar. Koppel could still be in here. Clements has it. Ray Wilkins was so close to a spectacular goal then. So now it's Kennedy. Escapes at each end and the game gets more and more exciting. And Dalgleish now. Blocked by Thomas. Thomas still with him and it'll be a corner. Meanwhile we can see the shot from Wilkins that beat Clements but was kept out by the crossbar. Wilkins and Makari beginning to form the wall. Thomas coming to join them and Green off. Oh, there are the four brave men. There's the angle for Case or Sunis. There's Bailey on his line, or in fact a yard off it as Case lets go the shot. There was a deflection, but over 
for a corner. Case with that hammer of a right foot really lets go. It, I think flicked off the wall and only just over. And that's the final thrust of the game. Manchester United keep the championship open thanks to the most romantic of comebacks. Joe Jordan's big smile, it was his header that made the goal for Jimmy Greenock. So it's many happy returns on his birthday tomorrow for Manchester United manager Dave Sexton, but no happier return than that that Jimmy Greenock has made to First Division football today.